It's November 1st. It's wild. So crazy. Our phone number, 877-937-1047. You can text us. Text and test us. Text JGR to 96893. Um, in our costumes yesterday, we posted a bunch of videos. You can see John Jane Rich on social media, on Instagram. And there's a video that I keep watching over and over and over again. And it is the one where I'm dressed as President Trump and uh, Peyton is dressed as uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. And a garbage truck drives by and we tried to seize the moment. But what really made me laugh is Kyle's dressed as Secret Service. And in the video, she is hauling ass. <laughs> she really is. She, like, she lowered is, her head. I've watched it over and over. And it's almost like Grant shot it so perfectly because it's just enough <laughs> right. to where you're like, what the hell? Where did she come from? I don't know. I could not like, stop laughing in that moment. Like I almost fell over in front of, like literally tripped. You're I running. I was trying to do the Terminator run. <laughs> you really Terminator got it. Yeah. Well, Peyton's dad made that comment. Did yeah. you see that? I, yes, and I was like, "Thank you, show. You got it. You got it." All right, so let's do let's do a, a, a Halloween recap. Kyle, you and your kids. What was your family costume? How was it? Uh, our family costume was my son was a Cardinals football player. My daughter was a Cardinals uh, football cheerleader. Uh, and then Scott and I were referees. And I told you guys that Easton had been saying for a long time he was not going to go trick-or-treating because he doesn't want to go to the door and have someone answered in costume because he's terrified of adults in costumes or mascots. So as we were leaving our house, I was giving, the, or you know, like getting the kids ready, getting ready to go. And Scott hands Easton his trick-or-treat bag. And he just looks at him and says, I don't need that. And Scott goes, well, let's just bring it just in case. And good thing he did, because when we were out, Easton started in the wagon, and he just watched my daughter and their cousins go to every door, come back. They're like, wow, we got two pieces of candy at that one. And he was like, kind of, I think he was feeling the FOMO a little bit. Mm. And he goes, mom, I only want to go to the houses that just leave bowls outside. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, all right. So we go to one, and there's just a bowl outside, and he was like, he's very weary going up to the door because he thinks something's going to pop out at him or something like that. And then slowly but surely like he would watch them go to the houses and nobody was opening the doors in costume and so he's like maybe i'll go to this one you think you'll come with me and i'm like okay so i go to the door with him and it's just a normal person i'm like see buddy that wasn't so bad right and so he started getting into it a little bit and at one point there was this one house we went to and it had great decorations i was like this house is awesome but they were a little too freaky to him and he decided he had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. So he bailed right him. right when he got he the, did the a hall. Little bit. Yeah. But as we were leaving, we were kind of leaving in a hurry. And Scott was like, where's the, the candy bowls? Because we're the people that just leave the candy bowls out because we want to be trick-or-treating with our mm-hmm. kids. And I was like, oh, they're right here. He goes, what do we have to put out? And so I, I whip out these two big bags that I got at Costco. And I open one up and I pour it in the bowl. I go, that's what we got. And he looks at me. He goes, that's it? I'm like, I just whip it. it's like a huge Costco bag. And he's like, there's no variety. It's like, I got gummy bears. Like, they're little, they're bags of gummy bears. They look delicious. Why do they need variety from one house? They're going to 20 different houses, maybe 30 different houses. They're going to get plenty of variety. Anyway, he gave me crap about it all night to the point where when we got to my brother's house, he was like, so what do you guys do for candy? And they're like, oh, we have like, you know, some Snickers, Twix. He's like, guess what we got? <laughs> Just gummy bears and i'm like what's the problem with just gummy bears yeah, i personally is? don't get it like it's not like they're coming to our house for their whole entire loot mm-hmm. or maybe they were because when we did get home the bowls were empty not sure if one person got it all <laughs> or you know 50 people spread it out but i said huh, interesting looks like the gummy bears are all gone which happens to mean they were at least a little bit desirable they were a hit <laughs> they were a hit they were People love the gummy bears. Well, my, my house, you know, now that we are, our, our youngest is 18 and he went to a party with his friends, we were alone and I didn't want to deal with trick or treaters. So before Dutch went to a party with his friends, they were all in the backyard swimming and playing basketball. And I said, hey, can you guys put that caution tape out in front of the house so no one comes by? And they're like, yeah, sure, dad. So he goes, Dutch goes with his friends and they put caution tape all over the driveway, all over the front yard. Like, I mean, just a zigzag of tape, right? <laughs> And then Blake comes home. They did it at four thirty, oh, so she no. has to get in the driveway. <laughs> no. So they got to like move all kinds. It's like a like plain twister. They had to pull up, open the the cosh tape so Blake could drive through. <laughs> so anyway, when I left this morning, I'm pulling and I put this video on my Instagram. 
I'm p- backing out. I'm pulling down the driveway, and there's just a wall of caution tape. And I'm like, I wonder if my car can just make it through. Will it pull the trees down? Will it pull the bushes down? Do I have to get out of my car and rip the tape? You know, because it, it's thick tape. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, I'm just going to go for it. So I filmed the whole thing, and I went through, and I just heard boom, 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 pop, pop, pop. And I made it through. Oh, how nice. Uh, I felt like so a rebel. Fun. I felt like a rebel. Yeah, no trees like a, came down. It's like a football yeah, team going that. through the sign, yeah. now entering the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my neighbors across the street had caution tape. Another neighbor diagonally for me had caution tape. So our street, and then Blake and I walked to a restaurant to have dinner, and we were walking back, and the street was kind of busy, but there was just this darkness in my little, <laughs> my little, my, Blake said, we're bah humbug. Like, yeah. wrong holiday. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Peyton? It was fun. We had a good Halloween. I was over at my grandma's house, and usually I go and walk around with my nephews for a little bit, but <laughs> so across the street from my grandma's house, she has two neighbors, and one's name is Faith, and the other one's name is Hope, and it's a little triangle of these three old ladies, right? And so the Faith and Hope were over handing out candy and hanging out with my grandma, and I felt really bad because all the kids were walking by because it's pretty dark out there, and you got these old nice ladies, and the kids are trying to jack their candy from them. I felt <laughs> so bad. So I took the candy bowl. I was handing out all the candy and all the shots to the parents, and it was so fun, but it was kind of fun to like hang out with the grannies a little bit because they're just so wise and they just know so much about life and my grandma kept calling them the honeys and I was like where'd you get the honeys from she's like well we're just the honeys and I'm like okay I feel like you're trying to take the golden girls bit like what is going on here (laughs) and I was like I've never seen golden girls though so I don't know if like that's what they're trying to lean into but it's like their own little trio community so what kind of advice they give you that you thought was wow I'm so glad I'm here with these older women it's wisdom it wasn't like they gave me like it wasn't like they gave me advice it's just like when you talk about something they just know a lot more than you know 26 year old me what did so they say like, that made you think wow they know a lot well, more like, we were unless talking they talked about, about like, World War II well, like, no they weren't talking <laughs> about World War II but they were just talking about like people in general and just talking about how, like how different Halloween is and you know just like how back in my day how the, what yeah back in my day how like just the world is changing and you know people aren't out trick or treating anymore and then like I got to hear like a story about one of the old ladies was telling me about this guy that was trying to hit on her at the dog park and right on she was just telling me she's like I don't got time for that I'm like, oh, so if it's <laughs> hope and faith is that their name Hope and Faith? Yeah, they live that, separate. That was a TV show for a while. Hope really? and Faith, yeah. That's cool. Um, what about your grandma? What's her name? Colleen. That doesn't roll. No. It does, does roll, actually. It's so awkward. You know, fish out of water. Faith, Hope, hope. Faith, and Colleen. Yeah. They're the new, honeys. New sitcom. <laughs> Rich, real quick, what about you guys? Well, my neighborhood, uh, my neighbors are awesome, so I kind of combined with them. So about six or seven neighbors, and we had a mountain of candy, and uh, one of my neighbors did like a hot sauce challenge. That was fun to oh, watch. Oh, so you were like being social with your neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hung around all the neighbors, because my kids my, my kids are all, you know, done with that. God, I'm I would hate to go hang out with my neighbors. Oh, they're all great. I love them all. Because I was watching. Walking back, I could see all the people doing the stuff that we used to do with all the doors open and all the families there and all the mm-hmm. kids and everyone eating chili and hanging out. And I was like, oh, thank God I'm past <laughs> I love that. I just I wish it were on a weekend I where don't. I can hang a little longer. I, I know. It's like so bah humbug. I literally, guys. literally am the Grinch of Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, ask me what I've been doing for the last hour and a half. What have you been doing for the last hour and a half, John Jay? Uh, talking to your husband. He's been helping me with my whoop that doesn't work. <laughs> Hour and a half. He's been going back and forth with me trying to help me. He's such a nice guy. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong. And then I think what we nailed it down to is that I don't have a membership. <laughs> My trial ran out. I didn't know that. Oh, Everything's a know. membership now. It drives me I'm like, crazy. I'm like, I've been wearing this thing for a week and it's not getting any data. What's wrong? And he's literally walking me through like I'm a four-year-old. <laughs> and then he goes, have you put your credit card down? I'm like, for what? <laughs> like, anyway. Bingo. Ah, I know. What a Got bummer. It. What are three things we need to know, Kyle? So if you count today, we've got four days until Election Day. Four more days of annoying texts and calls, four more days of that. And as of early this morning, 62 million people have already placed their votes with early voting. Uh, The crazy thing is, is Washington, D.C. is they're prepping for potential social unrest. They've started boarding up all of the government buildings and retail stores with plywood. Yes. Crazy. Yes. And they're not the only city doing this. No matter who wins, they're just planning on social unrest. I mean, I think they feel, don't you guys feel the tension? There's just so much tension. Oh my God, just read the comments on our costume. (laughs) My God. Like, if you have a problem with our post yesterday, you got a problem within yourself. (laughs) Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it really is. Four more days and we'll have an answer. So, do we know if it's too late to do early voting? So, if you haven't submitted your ballot yet, you have to go to the polls on Monday? I think specifically in Arizona, the last day to mail in your ballot already happened. Dang it. 
The I last day to mail in was the 29th, but you can bring your ballot in to any like ballot box all the way till election day. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm like I already filled mine now. I didn't yeah. drop well, it off. We're done. You got that. You you got okay. you got it started. You cool. can still. I mean, you get a lot of people are sending in like two or three ballots in the mail. That seems like that's fishy. What? <laughs> yeah, I, have you heard about I, that yet? No, I have no. seriously no joke. Have probably gotten four different ballots mailed to me. Like I have four different packets. <laughs> yeah, there's some freaky stuff going out there. Already. I've had four. <laughs> I've had four different pallets mailed to me. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what I said? <laughs> just, just I like it. It's just a pallet. <laughs> okay. One pallet for household. <laughs> All right. After pressure from the vegans, the lactose intolerant. And even Sir Paul McCartney, Starbucks has made the decision, okay, you guys, we're not going to charge extra for those non-dairy milk Good. options anymore. We, 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 You can have the soy milk. You can have the almond milk at no extra charge starting November 7th. That's when they drop their holiday menus, so that will coincide in it, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, their CEO says they hope this will make the chain a more welcoming place. In the meantime, they also announced they're going to discontinue the uh, the line of oil or olive oil infused drinks. To nobody's surprise, they're discontinuing them because nobody liked them. Never really took off with customers. <laughs> okay. It's time to get up and move. Everybody, health experts say sitting all day is actually aging you faster. They said sitting for extended periods of time can lead to obesity, muscle weakening, spinal stress, poor blood sugar regulation, decreased blood circulation throughout your entire body. They say people who sit a lot should actually exercise more. You do need to offset all the sitting with some exercising, maybe even an hour a day. But they say it doesn't need to be like, you know, like gym bro, weightlifting. Like they say, just walking can do wonders for your body. Question, Kyle, over here. Hi, a longtime listener, big fan of oh, Richard. Uh, three things <laughs> yes, you need to know. Yes, what's your question? Just last week, you said the standing desks are no good for you too. On because this very you're report, doing anything sedentary for a long period of time is no good. They don't want you to sit for long periods of time. They don't want you to stand for long periods of time. It's just bad for your body. They want your body to be moving. Treadmill desk. Your treadmill desk would work, yes. <laughs> Especially if you're walking. They say that low impact ex- exercise burns calories, reduces your risk of heart disease and stroke, lowers your blood blood pressure, cholesterol, strengthens your heart, leg muscles, improves. But I mean, all kinds of good stuff can be done by just walking. So just get up and move today, and that's three things you need to know. Happy Friday, happy November. It is time for horoscopes. Peyton, what's the vibe today? We are officially in the month of November, so I'm going to tell you what you can expect over the next month based on your zodiac sign. 877-937-1047. Nicole, good morning. Morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. What's your sign? Gemini. Gemini, this month is all about connection, and November is bringing in the people vibes. So plan a kickback, a little party, reach out to that person that you've been meeting to call, or maybe even say yes to a spontaneous invite. It's going to be good vibes heading your way over the next couple of weeks. Nice. I love get-togethers. Yes, Kick back. me too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love your guys' costumes, by the way. Thank, Thank you, too. Nicole. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. If you want to see our costumes, they're up at John Jane Rich on social media. Holly. Hi, Holly. Good morning. Good morning. What's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, November has you looking ahead, Sagittarius. You are planning, you are in planning mode, and it's all about setting the stage for the next chapter. So make sure that you are dreaming big over this next month, and don't be afraid to get a little wild with your goals, because chances are things are going to be looking really up for you, Holly. Okay, that's true. Yay, good. 100%, yeah. Sweet. Bye, Holly. Have a great day. I'll take that. Awesome. Y'all too. Bye. Vanessa, what's your sign? Good morning. Hi, guys. I'm a Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season, so happy birthday season, Scorpios. November has you guys in a deep, reflective mood, and the vibes are here for it. So dive into some self-care over the next few weeks, set a few intentions, and don't hold back from embracing all of the good things. Yay, I love it, and this weekend is a great start to my weekend because I got to hear your guys' beautiful voices, and tomorrow's my birthday. So yay. Awesome. Happy birthday. Birthday. Oh, so Thank fun. you. Love Vanessa. <laughs> what do you got for Pisces for Richard? Yeah, Rich, November has got you in your feels, Pisces. Expect a burst of creativity, though, whether that's through art, journaling, or just dreaming up the next big thing. This month, Rich, trust your intuition. It is going to lead you somewhere absolutely amazing. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Good vibes for my Pisces. What about for Leo? 
Leo, yeah, Leo. Leo, it's a month for the spotlight for us. November is serving us with opportunities to shine, whether that's at work, in our social circles, or even online. So make sure that we're saying yes to things that make us stand out. People want to feel our Leo energy. How about for Virgo? Yeah, Virgo, organization mode activated for you guys. This month is practically designed for Virgos with all of its cozy prep for winter energy. So this is your season to kind of get your planner field, tackle those tasks and set goals, but balance Virgos, make time for some fun somewhere in there. Okay. What about for Libra? Yeah, Libra, you're in your social butterfly era. November is going to bring you gatherings, good vibes, and chances to meet new people. So make sure that you enjoy your interactions and don't let it drain you. Balance is your bestie this month, so make sure to carve out some time for just you two. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Me time. So if we to get your sign there, I'll post it on our website, johnjanerich.com. If you don't know this, Kyle had a semester of med school, right? Pre-med. Pre-med. <laughs> Semester of pre-med. Rich was a psychology major, right? Mm-hmm. And Peyton is criminal justice. So get this. If you ever need advice, we are kind of qualified to give you advice. <laughs> so you can either text us, JJR, whatever you want to say, whatever advice you need, to 96893, or you can call us at 877-937-1047. Time for Stacks and Hacks. I have stacks of information. Rich has life hacks. These are the most searched slang terms of 2024. Number four, Haktua. Number three, Skibbity. Number two, Sigma. And number one, Demure. In a poll of people, a lot of people are not looking forward to Daylight Savings Time ending. I think it's this weekend. It is. 41% of people say they don't care. And 23% of people are looking forward to it. A poll looked at the decades we're most nostalgic for right now. What do you think is number one decade, Kyle? Number one decade we miss right now. 90s. Yes, that's number one. Another poll found that being patient, on being patient, found we will only wait 29 minutes for food delivery before we're annoyed. We expect to be seated at a restaurant, have our order taken, and get our food in 30 minutes or less. By the way, my wife sent me a picture the other day. Somebody door dashed McDonald's and put it at our front door. Mm-hmm. And my wife took a picture. She goes, hey, did you do this? Did you order this? I was like, no. And she goes, uh, and then she goes, Dutch didn't either. It was there for like three days. And then somebody that was a friend of ours took a picture and said, hey, man, your coffee's here. And I was like, we didn't order it. It's still there because we thought they were going to come back and get it. Mm-hmm. But they never oh my did. Gosh. I think after three days, you could probably throw it away. Yeah, I think it's gone now. But it was there for a <laughs> while because it was at the front door. We never used the front door. A few things to look forward to in November since uh, today's November 1st. Daylight saving time ends on Sunday. Election day is Tuesday. Gladiator 2 and Wicked hit theaters on the 22nd. Uh, Thanksgiving, November 28th. And the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, I think is the 15th. Oh, wow. Don't forget Love Pup Family Fest coming up on the 9th. Good job. Uh, That's right. That's right. A week from tomorrow. It's free. Shinedown performing. Schools are banning Crocs because kids keep tripping over them. Get this, a bank robber in Miami asked the judge, can you please sentence me to the max because I love the life I have in prison. He said, if you don't, I'm probably going to do this again. Uh, somebody from the L.A. Dodgers, you guys see this? A fan of the L.A. Dodgers blew off his hand yesterday? No. So, right? yeah, I, I saw it all over the internet yesterday. So the dude was like lighting fireworks, celebrating the Dodgers one. Oh, oh, oh his hand blew. I know it did. Oh, my goodness, bro. <laughs> little, little entertainment news Sydney Sweeney she's now like the it girl in Hollywood she's the it girl so she went from earning two million dollars for the romantic comedy Anyone But You to 7.5 million dollars for the upcoming thriller The Housemaid um, she's the, she's right up there with Zendaya who made 10 million for The Challengers oh wow that's cool huh. I know Sydney Sweeney is being is doing a biopic of um, some fighter or like a wrestler Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I saw her post that picture. And she's like, and she's like, she's like packed on like twenty five pounds of muscle or something crazy like that. Is it this movie that she's doing right now? No, it's not a that. You said that was a thriller, right? This is like a sports movie. It's called this is, the housemaid. That is not like a sports movie. No, <laughs> the one. Um, it's called. The, it's the Christy Martin um, movie, and also known as the housemaid. Is it really? No, I'm just kidding. I was like, is it really? <laughs> really? I don't they just know what it's called. But. Released the best Christmas horror movies of all time. Think about a Christmas horror movie. Huh. Christmas horror. It's very relatable to this show. I have one. I think I know one. What do you got? Well, isn't Terrifier 3 based on nope. Christmas? 
That's not it. Christmas Bad Santa. horror. Nope. Gremlins. Gremlins. Ah. Uh, Grant, uh, Grant was dressed as a gremlin two days ago. I was like, why does that relate to us? I know. <laughs> what do you got for life hacks, Rich? All right, let's talk about restaurants. Eating now, it's expensive. And then you want to have the freshest food that there is. You don't want something that's like stale or not in the restaurant. People said, here's the hack. The more items listed on the restaurant's menu, the less fresh the food is. They have to freeze it and reheat it. So if you want a place that's got fresh food, look for a smaller, more focused menu. That means the restaurant is concentrating on quality, not quantity. So Cheesecake Factory busts out like a book yes. of their menu. That's yes. not fresh? Yeah, it got to be frozen. I love and that they, place. They reheat it. I didn't say it wasn't delicious. <laughs> I just said it wasn't fresh. No. So keep that in mind, and probably they, they probably dump a bunch of salt in it to make it taste even better <laughs> or butter that seems to be the secret anyway that hack and many more can be found at john and rich.com today and every day at this time we are commercial free like kyle said love pup family fest is back november 9th it's uh, a week from tomorrow it's absolutely free it's at vertuccio farms in mesa that's where it's going down shelters dog shelters from all over the valley are going to be there showcasing their dogs up for adoption Rand dizzle the incredible food truck is going to be there among other food trucks uh, headlining the musical side is one of the biggest rock bands in the world, Shine Down. Like they have 23 number one hits. It's totally free. You can get all the info at Love Pup Foundation on Instagram. It's brought to you by McCarthy Builders. And we got a lot of sponsors like Coconut Cleaning, uh, Green Mango, um, Learner and Row, McCarthy Builders. It's just, uh, oh, oh, Celsius is there. going to be handing out stuff. It's just, it's tremendous. Anyway, it's a week from tomorrow. Text us, text JJR, whatever's on your mind, to 96893. And uh, we'll text you back, we'll call you back, or, you know, we'll just read your message. Uh, what happened to you yesterday, Payne, with your friend on Halloween? Was it yesterday? Yeah, it happened yesterday where I went with her, but it was the day before Halloween. Um, I got a call from one of my friends, and she was freaking out. And usually she doesn't call me. She'll usually just, like, shoot me a text. So I thought it was kind of weird. And when I answered, she's, like, freaking out, and she's, like, crying. And she's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just took a pregnancy test, and it says pregnant. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Mm. And I was like, hey, you're calling me? <laughs> like, I know what to do. I'm also freaking out and crying with you now. And so she's like, what do I do? Do I go get go to the doctor? I'm like, yeah, obviously. Like, we got to go see what's up. Let me know. I'll go with you. Whatever. So yesterday was the day that we were able to go and get her in to go to the doctor and get, like, an ultrasound and see how far along she was and stuff. And it was really for one, a really cool experience because the fact that she called me and wanted me to be with her, I was like, wait, aw, I love you. Like, the fact you want me a part of this journey with you is, like, made me feel really special because she doesn't have a lot of family out here, so, like, I'm her family. Oh, so it made me, that. Yeah, it made me feel really, really good and special, but it was trippy because I, my sister, I have three nephews, and I never had to go to, like, any of her like OBGYN like checkup appointment so like I actually got to see like the whole works like when the doctor came in and explained all of the things that happen like when you're pregnant all of the like risks and things like that and then we got to see like the ultrasound and stuff like that and she's super far along or not super far along she's not far along at all so we didn't see anything oh. um so she's gonna have to go back in a couple weeks and see you know kind of what that jazz is but it kind of just like tripped me out because I was sitting there and I'm like a lot of my friends are like having kids right now and getting married and it just like put me in perspective because I was like I'm gonna be in that chair soon I would think probably like in the next five years I would hope I don't know but it was like just like a trippy feeling to like be there with her but then also like picture myself in her shoes and I can only imagine you know the emotional things that she's going through so it's like crying one time and then it's like oh my gosh I'm so excited crying I'm so excited so it's just like it was kind of a cool little moment I were, had were you surprised Peyton by anything that like you know happens at your first baby doc appointment um I was surprised that there was a lot of people in there like a lot of doctors and like PAs and training I was like there's a lot of people in here all up in your business <laughs> so, do, do any does anybody get I don't even know if you take a pregnancy test and it says positive are there false positives or is it pretty much you're pregnant if it says you're pregnant I think there's false negatives but there are no false positives okay so they don't really need to recheck if you've got the stick that says you're pregnant I think if you like get the stick that says you're pregnant at home you always want to go in and check with yeah, the doctor yeah that's what I said like we need to like I was like the word by the way Chinese. someone's tuning in Peyton's not pregnant oh, she's yeah, talking about no, her friend I am not pregnant because the way Rich the way you said 
when you went in to check the pregnancy test. I just want to make sure that Peyton is <laughs> no, not pregnant. No, 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 no. I am not. But I got to, you know, have a really cool moment with one of my friends. So how come a uh, baby daddy wasn't there? Like, how come he was, it was working. you? Yeah, he was working. Oh. And so we, but we were able to like FaceTime him and stuff. And it's like, he's kind of a one man show with his business too. So he wasn't able to make it. Mm. He was upset. Upset. So but you're the first also, person she called. You're the only person she called. The first person she called. And, and do you That's believe that? Awesome. Or did she call, hey, Francine, are you there? I'm pregnant. Francine, are you there? I know. Carol, Carol, are you there? Carol. <laughs> uh, let me try Peyton. Peyton, oh my God, hey, Peyton, oh my God. I think I probably was the first because I'm really cool with her baby daddy and her. And we're really sweet. And I always pick up the phone. Like, it's very rare that I don't answer my phone. Um, but his his sister was there too. So it was cool. And she's like told a couple of other people, like their parents and stuff. But apparently I asked her. She said I was the first call. So oh, I was like, that's awesome. That says a lot about your sweet. friendship. Congrats yeah, that's to everybody. my girl. Yeah. I love her. I know. I'm like, I hope it's a girl. I'm ready to be a girl auntie. <laughs> I have some random audio I want to play for you guys. Do you know how we've talked about Waymo a lot? Yeah. Right? Like, I think, Kyle, you've seen a Waymo situation. I've seen a Waymo. Peyton, you've been in the Waymos, right? Yeah, I love it. So, did you see what happened in San Francisco? No. This video is nuts. So, I guess it's a Waymo is driving somewhere, and then an, um, a UPS truck is in the way. So, it's waiting for the UPS truck, and it's going to go around the UPS truck. But there's another Waymo coming towards it, and they read each other. And they just keep, they just stop. They just, it's just, it's, it's four driverless Waymo cars and a standoff. Four of them. Oh my gosh. The Waymo is stuck because the Waymo is trying to go behind the Amazon, but then it's stuck behind the Waymo. And oh my God, there's another Waymo. What's everybody going to do? What, it is a Waymo standoff. <laughs> what is going to happen? Oh. Who's going to win? There's four of them stuck. It's, oh, that Waymo came through. Woo-hoo. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I like always wonder what they do with the Waymos when they're stuck like that. Is it just people in like their little cubicles on little joysticks, like computer yeah, games? I don't know. Like, Probably exactly what, what, what that is. is right. It? Also, you know, we talk a lot about AI. Um, you know, I mean, Halloween's over. Christmas is around the corner. But you know that song you can hear it a million times, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree? Mm-hmm. Who sings that, Rich? Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee. They went to AI and they asked Brenda Lee, AI voice, to do Rocking Around the Christmas Tree in Spanish. This is literally just AI, and it sounds exactly like her singing this song in Spanish. Crazy, crazy. Really that she good. was 13 Nuts. when she sang that song. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. All right, we're going to switch gears. Uh, we got Jackie. Jackie's on the line. Uh, ooh, she says she's not sure she can trust her friend around her husband. She'll explain. Shannon got something in her bag. What's in your bag, man? Shannon? Uh, so, hi. Yeah, this is Shannon. I didn't get something in my bag, but I put something in Trick or Treater's bag. Um, let me preface this by saying we were young, and now that I'm an adult with my own kids, I look back on this and shake my head, but let me tell you, my friend's rat, her pet rat, had babies, and her mom told her we had to get rid of these babies. She didn't want them. They needed to go. So when trick-or-treaters came over, we grabbed a baby rat. And a piece of candy, and we put it in their trigger. <gasps> no no way. way! Do you mean baby rat like it was still a little pink thing? No, they were like they were fuzzy, and they were. It was time for them to find a new home. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, you know how many how many people probably thought that was a rat, in, like a rat in their bag, and like, oh, it's a rabbit bag. No, all that candy got tossed. <laughs> yeah. They were white and fluffy and cute, and her mom said, "Go let them loose in a field or something." But we thought it would be funny and a trick or trick or treating. Oh my gosh! And these kids had no idea, and they just thought they were getting candy. So, you know, when they got home, they probably dumped out their candy, and then like out jumps this little baby rat. Oh my gosh! I would die. <laughs> Definitely. I'm like, no most... baby rat is cute enough for me to be like, oh, it's a <laughs> yeah. baby rat. Very unique. <laughs> good God. Very unique. All right, thank you, Shannon. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day, guys. Very, very unique. Um, I believe there's going to be a rat rescue 
at Love Pub Family Fest on Saturday, November 9th. But they're not cool. dropping them in people's bags. <laughs> no, no, they have. I, re- I remember them being there in another year, before, another year in the past. But they're gonna have, they have a, they have all these pet rats, and and as you go into their booth, the rats are crawling all over them on their shoulders and stuff. They're really friendly. <laughs> they're really nice, and they're and they're not like the gross sewer rats. Or right, like, like the ones rats. you see in New York that are right. all big and juicy. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so Love Pup Family Fest is November 9th. November 9th. And by the way, we got RVs. Um, Yay! Airstream. Awesome. Yeah, Airstream hooking us up with RVs. Oh, Thank you, Airstream. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Those are Airstream. nice. Uh, Learner Row hooking us up. McCarthy Builders hooking up. Oh, also, you know what's really cool? Is McCarthy Builders had this contest and they built like a bunch of dog houses, right, that we're going to give away. And these dog houses are now all over all, over all the Toyota dealerships across the valley. So you can check them out. They're very, very cool. There's one over at Oso, too. A little O's on Arcadia. There's one in the back there. And they're going to, and I'd like to put them in special places. At any rate, we're going to get some entertainment news. Is there Diddy stuff? I is I playing a video game? Is, I, is I playing a game show? Kyle, show me Diddy stuff? No? I, I personally don't have a Diddy story okay. today. Is there Johnny Depp stuff? No Johnny Depp stuff today. What says here? Johnny Depp's directing a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From you. From Kyle. Yeah, no Johnny Depp story. We don't need to get into that one. Is there <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion? Yes. Show me. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. You got entertainment news coming up next. John Jane Rich, kiss. All right, Kyle. Is there a Johnny Depp story? <laughs> there, there actually is a Johnny Depp story. He's bringing his chaotic life of being an artist, right? He's an artist as an actor, kind of to the screen. He is actually directing a movie. Al Pacino is going to be starring in it. It's going to be called Modi, and it's about an artist. <laughs> so, I, you know, it's Johnny Depp, so it's going to have a little bit of twisted sense Fun. to it, but okay. we'll see how it turns out. How about Megan Thee Stallion? Megan Thee Stallion, she had all the drama with Tory Lanez, and you guys remember, she did an interview with Gail Bass, where Gail had asked her about the whole Tory Lanez situation, and if she hooked up with him, basically. And at the time, she said no. However, now she wants to clarify things, basically saying it was a weird time in her life, where people were being kind of lame to her. It, w- it wouldn't have been a time where anybody would have asked me about somebody and I would have been like, you know, I would have been like, so, okay, yeah, I did that. But the way they have villainized me for being this type of person, it started to make me second guess myself. Yes, bitch, I lied to Gail King. We just always want to talk about this shooting. Why did you ask me about Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I like once, maybe twice on a drunk night. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, as soon as we found out that like, Tory Lane shot Megan the Stallion in the foot. Obviously, they were hooking up. Like, duh. Like yeah. that was my first instinct. Like that. That was that got a little me- a little bit messier than it needed to be. Definitely. But I also think it's funny because like if she calls Gil a B. Like, <laughs> yes. Okay. But like, first of all, you weren't supposed to ask me about that in the interview. Right. <laughs> so funny. Uh, what's up with Obama's daughter? So Obama's daughter Malia is trying to make it in Hollywood. And she has dropped Obama as her last name. So she's using her middle name. And Obama was actually asked about it. He, they were like, you know, your daughter, she kind of like, is it wanting to use your name? What's up with that? And he says it's basically because they want to make it on their own. Her first film went to Sundance and all these fancy film festivals. And she didn't use Obama on, on the as director. Uh, on the credits, it said Malia Ann. She used her middle name. <laughs> didn't put Obama on there. I was all like, you do know they'll, they, they'll know who you are. And she's all like, you know what? I want them to watch it that first time and not in any way have that association. So I I think our daughters go out of their way to not try to leverage that. It's pretty respectable, yeah, actually. It, it really is. is. And I kind of love, because I'm that person that looks up TV shows and movies if I really like it. And if I were to see, like, Malia Ann on the, on the screen, but then find out it was Malia Obama, I'd be like, that is so cool. Yeah. There's uh, the the starting five. That's a Barack Obama, Michelle Obama. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're in Hollywood now. You yeah. know what I mean? So I mean, I'm sure they can make a. Hey, uh, can you hire Malia Ann? <laughs> for me? And, little and you, and you know, Maybe there's a, a movie. Influence. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Painted. It was a really good movie. It's on, it was on Netflix. It was called Barry. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Not the TV show Barry that's on HBO. Barry, oh, it's not. it's the movie of Barack oh, Obama's yeah, life. I've seen Barry. Like the dude yeah. went by Barry's whole life. Yeah. And then he changed it, so he kind of did the opposite. Yeah. You know? Right. I have seen that. Uh, Travis Kelsey. What do you got, Travis Kelsey? Okay. So 
<laughs> DeAndre Hopkins is now with the Chiefs. So new player inter- entering this vibe. And Travis had like the best thing to say about him. And normally like I would never bring up anything sports, right? I really, I really wouldn't. But I kind of feel like everybody could use this term in their own office. I call them swag champs. When you get a vet into the building and he just, he juices everybody's confidence up. Like the aura and the, and the fun that you have in the building and just going to work. He's just another guy that you can always rely on to show up and put in the work, but enjoy what he's doing and, and try and have some fun with it, man. I feel like Grant is our swag champ. Totally. (laughs) So today, when you go to work, just find out who your swag champ is and, like, let them know their new nickname. Halloween was yesterday. We're going to do a little recap of Halloween. Sounds like everyone was out and busy doing things. Except for me. Kiss FM, John Jane Rich, Arsenia, are you there? Yep. Hello. Okay. You're going to be our contestant because we're going to play a game. Let's play Celebrity Who Said That. Say what? Wake up, everybody. It's time to play America's favorite game, Celebrity Who Said That. Arsenia, I'm so glad to have you here today. If you don't know how this game is played, basically I play a little clip of something a celebrity said, and you have to guess who said that. Who said that? Celebrity who said that? Okay, so we'll start with John J. Rich, then Peyton. So, Arsenia, you get a little time to ease into the game. We'll start with round one. John J., this is your clip. Pish, imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t-shirts you're going to say? Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal is correct. That was such a weird interview. It was very odd. It really was. <laughs> Rich, you're up. Yo, chill. It's not chill. So I'm not going to be chill? Yo, chill. It's not chill. So I'm not going to be chill. This is a t- I think this is actually the toughest clip of the game. So if you get this, I'm going to be mad, mad I, respect for you. No, I actually just heard the cadence of the voice. I think it's Katy Perry. Hey, Incorrect. And- so sorry, Rich. You're mm. out. You know what? You don't even get to play next round. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just Can kidding. Halloween hangover. <laughs> Peyton, you said you wanted to steal. Yeah, I wanted to try to guess. Okay. I feel like it's Chapel Rome. <gasps> Peyton! Yeah? You want me to give you two points? Because that was. That was wow. the hardest clip of the yeah. game. Yeah, I, I stalked her TikTok, so I know what she sounds like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Peyton, you just stole a point for Rich, but now it's your turn. That sounds like me. <laughs> I think all the time. <laughs> oh, How Rihanna. can we not think That is girl. Rihanna. <laughs> Okay, Arsenia, this also is somewhat difficult, but I think it's highly gettable for you. So just listen closely. This is your celebrity. And it really felt like a very specific power move thing. And then the thing that I improv ended up in the trailer. And it sounds like Christian Bell. Mm, close, but Ooh. if I were you, I would maybe put in one other guess. Oh, God, I don't know. That's what I thought it was. It's not Kristen Bell. That would have been my guess, too. Oh. Um, I don't even know who that could be. Okay. Do you want to phone a friend? I think John yeah, Jay might know. Anyone? I'm like, anyone? Yeah, Hello? yeah, I know for a fact who it is. <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Incorrect. That was Anna Kendrick. Uh, no, Anna that Kendrick. makes sense. Yeah, they're like the same genre well, of person. They kind of are the same so. genre of person. Okay. Jen. <laughs> Things will get interesting in round two. John Jay, you're up. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the cannibal no, stuff now. I'm scared Oh, of Army Hammer. Army Bam. Hammer is correct. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ew. I know. <laughs> Rich, you're up. Six words. Whoa. Can I hear that one more time, please? Six words. How Ariana Grande. Peyton. No, Come in on. Paris Hilton. It's obviously Paris Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. What is she saying? Yeah. It's the words. Oh. I feel like that's all you need of yeah, Parasol. Yeah. Yeah. It's Parasol. Shame yeah. on you, Parasol. It's the worst. Shame. You know what? I really shouldn't have let you play this uh, round, Rich. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to do that to you. I didn't want to do that to you. I thought I thought you would totally get that. I really did. I'm sorry. I can barely hear it. I have no I idea apologize. what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Peyton, you're up. Calling it girl dinner doesn't make it cooking. Martha Stewart. Correct. Wow, Peyton is running away with this game. She's got five points. So to give you a fighting chance, Arsenia, I'm going to make this clip right here worth 17,575 points. If you get this, and I'm going to give you a little hint. He may be dating someone really famous. Go. If I'm going to go to school, I might as well learn how to not go to jail. Ah, that's uh, Mr. Smith. Travis Kelsey. Yeah! Yes! With 17,525 points, Arsenio and Celebrity, who said that? Oh, uh, 
Bob, we're going to set you up. God, what we got? Coming up for Dean, we need to know. So it turns out we all may be a little behind on something. I'll tell you what that is next with John Jay and Rich.